As you see, I have short sleeve shirt on today. It's Thursday, uh, March 28th, and the temperature today will get in the lower 60s. Quite a difference from what it's been this month when we've had temperatures seasonally below the seasonal normal, about five degrees over the 30 year average. The day feels pretty good. There's a slight breeze and looks like spring has finally has come around after a pretty cold March and it's been cold throughout the Midwest and the, in a lot of the United States. Now that's quite a contrast to what it was last year when March was 14 degrees above the seasonal, uh, the 30 year norm. Uh, last year we had uh, 16 days last year during March where the temperature was 70 degrees or higher. Now that's a pretty warm March. And these trees that you see right now, while well, they're barren and, 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 and uh, uh, were budding last year about this time. Though there are farmers out in the field doing some uh, work, we still are in a drought condition. And even though the temperatures were a little bit below normal, our, we've had a little bit more moisture during March with a little bit over an inch of uh, precipitation this, this month and about 6.2 inches of snow. We're a little bit ahead of where we were last year, but we're still below the 30 year average. So we still have a drought. Now we're coming into April, the beginning of planting season, and there is a big concern because we do have a moisture problem, deficit problem uh, throughout our crop fields here. Our subsoil moisture levels are below normal, and uh, looks like farmers this year will have uh, will be planting close to 9.8 million acres of corn, down from last year's 10 million. And I think it reflects a little bit on the drought situation, even though the prices for corn have been pretty high. But hopefully we'll get the weather to turn around and it'll be more active. April begins our monsoon season and April, May, June are the months that we normally get our most precipitation and those are critical months for the crop year.